Well, hidey ho there, killers. All you cool cats and COVID kittens or, or uh, I don't know. This is Newberry. Uh, so we are going to talk about synchronizing work centers. Uh, this is a PDA or a PowerPoint put out by Sergeant Green. Um, if you don't have it uh, and you're in the 91 group, it's in the files section. Um, so there's going to be two things. First, the easiest way is, is once you're in your home, start off with LSP2. And you're going to want to open that in its own window. Uh, so you can open that and then once you have that open go up here and type in forward slash o z p m reloc z p m reloc so i'm gonna go here because i have lsp2 over here so the purpose of this is to change the work center that usually shows up as a UIC to the actual work center for your maintenance. Now, I will tell you this, according to Sergeant Green, when you do this change, um, you'll need to put in a help desk ticket for work orders, and this is specifically to maintenance, um, to change, like when you click the gear and it gives the work orders to your AMPS or ECS shops. Uh, apparently that goes away when you do this. So this is the easiest way to mass change all of them. Um, so in LSP2, which you can see right here, LSP2, you're gonna click the little manila folder and then you're gonna type in your UIC or a four digit whiskey, Sierra Sierra whiskey, and then hit okay and it'll pop up and then you click the top line. Here. I only got Tango one left to do so I'll just show you this. So we go to LSP2, Manila folder. It's already got 883rd, but I'm gonna put in whiskey, serious here, whiskey, just so you can see it. This is the first four of my UIC. Top one comes up, double click, bam, bam, bam. Right up here, there is the navigation view button. Click that. Then you're gonna click this little black carrot and it opens up your UICs. Do, do, do. So all of this other stuff I don't really care about. Um, so I, in, in each of these, there's gonna be setup information. So we are on Tango 1. Um, this is your property book listing. So now that you know that, we go over here. And I wanna find Whiskey Sear Sear Whiskey. Tango 1 PB must be on there. If you do Tango 1, nothing will populate. Or if you do any just blank UIC, it must end with PB. Uh, we are going to unselect this because I want to update work orders. Um, and then this right here is the work center for Tango 1. So we come back over here. And we see maintenance, maintenance. And we go over. I've got two. I personally know that I don't use this one. I don't really even know why it's there. Um, it looks like it was only valid. Well, no. It, it was created, it's got a type unit code of 910. I digress, I'm not sure. It might be something that's created for um, uh, like NTC or something like that. So that's where like where we would order from. And then that we might be able to change this ID G7, that's the, that's the SLOC to another location um, specifically for purchasing or whatever so it would send it to NTC or the SSA there so this is the work center if your work center column 
this is the one you want. It starts with your UIC and then it ends with the SLOC. So this is going to be zero Yankee 65. Sierra zero Yankee 65. Whiskey Sierra zero Yankee. Oh, just kidding. Check that out. Whiskey Tango zero. Because uh, all my other ones were alphas. So um, now that this is selected and this is selected, this is what it's going to change the work centers to this. So usually all the work centers are Whiskey Sierra Sierra Whiskey Tango 1 or your whatever your UIC is. And we're changing them to the work center for the actual piece of equipment. I'm not 100%. I was talking to Green about this um, and apparently somebody up at the USR level, uh, USARC, Reserve Command, uh, HQDA, this was their this was their choice. Um, and I think that it has to do with the way that they are filtering selections. And it possibly also has something to do with correct man hours reporting. Um, it also deals with G8 and your Dodax um, for uh, funding and pay. So if these aren't aligned correctly, there's a potential for it to cause you grief. So at the company level is where all of this should be mandatory. And then at the battalion after it's done at the companies, then it should go up the hierarchy. That's the biggest problem with a lot of the data polls that are saying that they have to come from like the SLOC versus the UIC. They can't pull by UIC because the SLOCs are not, the equipment and stuff is not properly aligned at the lower levels, so at the higher levels it doesn't function properly. So it's a bit frustrating. So once we get all this and the, this, then we go in and we execute. This is the only one checked, uncheck that. So now we've got this crazy list of stuff. ZPM reloc is a little dangerous, just so you're tracking. If you got a piece of laterally transferred equipment to you and it had a work order on it, so this, object type is maintenance or ob the object type maintenance these are work orders so you'll notice that some of these might be open um, but they'll be or here you go here's work orders so your object type four so this work order currently shows that it's in this work center if you were to highlight this line notice that it's locked so they it, it won't let you because it, it says that these are on loan FEs, so these are actually in ECS storage. Um, okay, this one, right here. So this says that I have a generator. This is a work order number for this generator, and it's in this right here. If I were to highlight that line and click save, it will pull this work order out of that work center. It will pull it out of AMSA 20 and it will force it back to your work center, which means that they will not have access to that work order anymore. Specifically, you want to use this if you get a lateral transfer and they didn't close everything out and then you can go in um, and pull those to you so that you can close them. Um, but if you just be, just know that if you get it and you do it on a piece of equipment, it will pull the work order back to you. So with that being said, we're going to scroll up to here. So this is, these are all the steps that are in Green's um, mass change synchronization to work center and cost center PowerPoint. Um, these are all the steps really. So you're going to highlight the status line. You're gonna click the filter button, a little funnel, and come over here, click this, double click the yellow, and it's gonna change it to at 09 at. That is the code for the little triangle. You're gonna you're gonna checkbox that, and basically what that does is it filters only 
these, not the locks, because the locks will give you, it, it'll prompt you and say that you can't do anything. So we're gonna highlight the top line only in the equipment. And then you're gonna scroll down, 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 down. Tango one has got a lot of equipment. There we go. That is structure two. So I clicked, I highlighted the top row. Now I'm gonna come over here and I am going to try and do this. With, uh, hold down shift and click on the bottom row. The, the, this is all equipment. It's all aligned and it starts that way. So that little red carrot means that it's ascended in order by this column. So it means all of the equipment, number one, is right here. So that is the last piece of equipment, this starts structure. Don't pull structure uh, unless it's not in your work center, because then it's gonna cause you a huge problem. So you'll notice that some of the, these are all UICs, or um, they are equipment that haven't been like this is an engine that's probably installed in a vehicle um, and we could go through and figure out where it's at but it was probably installed here's the functional location for it but it's still showing up in like the actual piece of equipment has AMSA's work center on it and we don't it, 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 it's in the vehicle it's ours same goes with all this other stuff so once you've done that you've highlighted all of the equipment only your yellow triangles, everything is yellow, click save. Processing mass change, Q table submitted. And that's it, it's done done. So if you wanted to go back and double check this, these are all of the ones that I've done. So we'll go back to four, And you can see, don't don't do the same thing, but you can see the work center column now is all the work center. So if we open up four, this is this is LSP two. Here's four. Here's property book four. Whiskey Sierra or Sierra Sierra Whiskey Alpha Zero Yankee sixty one. This is current. Sierra Sierra Whiskey Alpha Zero Yankee 61. This is the current that's in there. This is what would be new if we added it, but this is Tango One, we know that because we just did that. So that's how you double check, but now all of this equipment has this work center, specifically to these pieces of equipment. Um, make sure that you get with supply to make sure that all of their stuff is correctly aligned because you may be doing this, I would say, I would recommend doing this maybe like every six months. Do it do it as like a semi-annual or maybe even like an annual review, um, build it into your equipment. It should be like a part of like CMDP or something. Um, if, if USARC HQDA is mandating that this is the way everything should be in the system, um, I've learned that sometimes they just do things because they don't know any better so they feel like this is the way that that they want it this way because maybe they filter by that column and if that column is just UICs then it won't populate correctly um, it may also have to do with funding issues in the future um, so this is coming out uh, uh, directly from the 377 TSC right now uh, with USARC's guidance so uh, if there's any questions, any issues, any concerns, um, you, this, the locks usually mean that it's controlled or owned by somebody else and it should already be good. Um, you know, if it's not, then that's a conversation to have with that shop, I would say. So like, here's some locks right here. And this, see it is correct for them. These are all in ECS. And this is their work center that they deal with. 
but like you'll notice like structure changes. Structure goes back to the UIC. I don't know what the purpose of that is 100%. <laughs> um, but yeah, so once you have done this, um, I believe that I would suggest doing a help desk ticket specifically for work orders. So if I just go over here, and I'm just gonna find something real quick. Um, so right there, work center. So now it tells you what UIC these are in. So like this one is alpha two and this one is Tango 1. Um, um, so if I just created an M1, let me put in test. Priority is going to be low just because I have to mandate those go in there. And then I want to forward this. See, it says no maintenance relationship found for selection. So if I wait and I jump into the work order, okay, okay, you click this, it's going to give you the same prompt. So that means that you have to manually input that, that, that six kilo number. Uh, that's one of my work orders. So like six kilo echo 10 Sierra 73 or whatever though you're gonna have to manually input those in here and then once you do that so if I was like six kilo what did I just say <laughs> six kilo echo 10 Sierra 73 and I hit enter it'll change to mine now that I've done that What, what equipment was this? I guess I should have looked at that prior to. Uh, oh, this is a Tango 1, I think. Um, so it's going to be Sierra, Sierra, Whiskey, Tango, uh, Zero, Yankee, 65. That's back to me. And I think now that I put that in there, there you go. So now once you enter it the first time, you can hit the drop down and it'll populate for you. Um, but this, I wonder if something's got to be in there. Hmm. I have to look at other work orders to see this. Anyways, I'm just farting around now. So if you guys have already gotten what you need, you're done. Uh, appreciate it. Hopefully you like it. Hit the like button. If you have questions, let me know. Comments. So, but anyways, you would put in a help desk ticket to correct this. You can take a screenshot of this specifically to upload and you could say, hey, this, this work center right here and then list out your other work centers. So this one, this one. So you, it'll be for all your UICs. I mean, these are all breakdown. So I don't use alpha five. So all of these maintenance uh, work centers, you'll put those in the help desk ticket and say, hey, all of these have an association to, and then you put in your AMSA or ECS's work center. Um, and then they should be able to go in and build those and then set that back up. Um, so that way when you're cutting for maintenance, specifically when you're cutting work orders, you can deal with this. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you're curious about something, if you want to know more, um, hit me up, let me know. Um, if I miss something, let me know and we'll update it at some point. So, all right, new bout. Peace killers. Have a good day. Love you guys.